Why are you so deep in thought? Yo, bro. Oh so, shit. We starting? Tell me tell me if we starting or not. What I always tell you. What I tell you. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, am I ready? Repeat my line that I tell you. Don't tell me to time. repeat nothing. Don't do that. Nah, repeat it. What do I Don't tell do you? Huh? Say it. Say the line. Say what? What's the line? If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. You ain't got to get ready if you stay ready. I'm ready. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, if you've been smoking raga under a rock, you now tuned into the Personal Party Podcast. Cheer! You I'm be high. practicing ad libs. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the B mic. That's what you call yourself. Yes, I'm the B mic. The B mic. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? The B mic. I'm the B mic. You, yeah, Snickers print it. Ill. Print it out. Snickers L. Yo, um, I I got I got some family in the building. You know what I mean? We we on the West Coast. You know, it's a little different setting. It's our first time actually doing an interview outside. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, you got right? me. You got me traveling, baby. You know what I'm saying I don't know, man. I'm feeling kind of good. You know what I'm trying to say? First time in LA, they kind of feel like yo. But John, I wasn't. John. I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about CJ. This can't be your first. This your first time in Cali? It's my first time. This is first Cali, time, bro. Okay. It's actually embarrassing. No, nah, I mean, <laughs> it's embarrassing. You know, but I gotta a great be a real nigga. Be, I, gotta, you know I can't saying? lie because like, if I lie and say I've been here. There's no fun in that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. When we be ourselves, it's, it's more entertaining. Hey, man. Honesty can get you very far in life. Like this honestly. guy already. Honesty I like this guy already. That's royalty. Far in life. That's culture royalty right there. You know what I mean? It is. I, but, wish, you know I, what I wish I had my little soundboard next to me. I'd be making noise. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. You know what I'm saying? It's over there. But, 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 it's, but it's over there. My yeah, man, exactly. When I, I'm gonna drop that, you give me an There we go. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I got my brother CJ Wallace in this motherfucker today. CJ. Yeah. So, we're gonna talk about all this cool shit yeah. you got going on, because you know I'm always watching. You got a mm -hmm. lot of cool things that mm -hmm. you're a part of. And you're, you know, you just, like I told you before, right. fucking, your, your dad is the reason I rap. 100%. He taught me mm -hmm. as far as being a student of the game and and somebody that i could identify with that gave me you know that taught me cadence and pattern by just listening and right. i'm still learning shit right now listening to certain joints yep. you know what i mean so it's super special for me to have you here you know what i mean mm -hmm. on top of everything that you do we, we're avid marijuana lovers you know you know what i mean so Double you know on that yeah mm -hmm. you know what i mean so yeah. it, it, it makes perfect sense to have you on a personal party and i thank you for coming you know yeah, what of mean? course thank you and thank you for having me you know, he's more than just a marijuana lover though Nah, he's a lot. Oh, he's a man. He's a man. He's a man's of many things, man. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Man. Let me hear your homework. I, I mean, I'm just saying, like, we're having a conversation. You here. did homework. I, mean, we, I don't know what I'm saying. He's an actor. Okay. I'm saying he's, in, he's into juices. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He does music a little something, too. You know what I'm saying? Bit, yeah, yeah, bit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Of course. Okay. Yeah, I think you're, for, you're, 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 what, what you call them shits? You know, I'm, I'm one of them hood niggas. Philanthropist. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. One of those type of and things. you said the word right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm yeah, trying. Yeah. I'm proud of you. You was practicing? I was talking yeah, to the mirror. I was talking to the mirror. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> <laughs> when I spoke to Mac earlier, I was talking to the mirror. I right FaceTime Mac, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, get niggas over here by 11, I, I. I'm like, where your man at? He like, yeah, that nigga's in the mirror talking to himself and shit. <laughs> and I believed it. And the fact that you just confirmed it, this is really your thing. Nah, I love this shit, bro. Nah, but that's good, though. Listen, that's proper that's preparation good. prevents poor performance. That's PPP. Yeah, I got go. game, man. Here we go. Got, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo. Nah, go ahead. You, you got me a motherfucking Inglewood, though. I don't got you nowhere. Yes, you do. I, I'm sorry, I had to. I, I, I gotta get look, that out of right, my chest. What's wrong with Inglewood? Nothing, nothing, nothing. We got nothing, the new nothing. stadium up there now. Inglewood yeah. lit now. I need, I need, I need, I need Hollywood. He on the other side of Inglewood. He's where, where you at, in Inglewood? I don't even know, but let me tell you something. <laughs> the, the, the McDonald's look crazy. It look like <laughs> look like two fifth and Lex, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. You got me in two fifth and Lex. Uh, I ain't gonna hold you. And if anybody from look, the New York niggas know, two look, fifth and Lex ain't. ain't we gonna take accountability here. We're going to take accountability. And I'm going to put the, because I'm not going to take the fall for this. Be accountable. I'm not going to take the fall for this because we all grown. Yeah, I read we... reviews for wherever I go. Right. You just got to read the review. If I'm ordering something from Yelp, I'm going to read the reviews. I don't even care if it's five stars. I want to see what everybody has to say in real time. You didn't do any reviewing? I was excited. You was excited. Uh, yeah, I said. So that wasn't my fault. That sounds like a you problem. And 
Secondly, I didn't book it. Talk to Mr. Priceline over there. Mr. Priceline, <laughs> Ricardo Blanco. <laughs> <laughs> he did that. I got nothing to do with that shit. He just made sure y'all niggas got here. He did it the right way. I, he did it the right way. But what I'm saying, I'm not going to discredit you. You did it the right way. But what I will say is, I have nothing to do with that. Stop talking okay? to me like... No, stop yeah. fucking blaming me for shit. Anyway. Then he got me. Yo, my nigga, let me tell you something. I, why, why, can I get this? This month? This month? No, for real, for nah, real. But, but for real. No, 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 Nah, you got this shit. You got this shit all don't fucked do up. Don't do that, nigga. Cause my I'm not supposed to be 50. paying for we cushed God. Here's and I said it right, did nigga. I not explain, when God. did I explain this shit Yo, to you? Did I ever say this on the show? Let's get into. We have a. Who was I on. saying that to? Cause niggas feel like cause I'm the cushed God. Oh my God. I'm supposed to be giving hey, niggas weed. Oh. Let me give you. The, let me give you the origin of the Kush God. Cause I'm glad you did that. Right. So the Kush God is somebody that accepts weed. You understand? I accept weed. They sacrifice their buds to me. I, not the opposite way around. Shout out to Little B, because that's where I got that whole philosophy from. Wow. You know what I mean? Base God, Shout out to God. the base God. That's where I got that from. Wow. That's, that's Gotta give dope. niggas they flowers. But you, know you take, I mean? you know what I'm but, saying? For your family, you throw the assist. How much weed? I, I gave you weed. You told me I gave you shake. As if you ain't got to fucking turn the you, shit into shake to put it into your joint with your little Fonto we, crumblings that you we got all right, over there. I'm all right. I'm all right now. All right. I'm all right now. I'm, I'm going to stop talking about the past. You got to think big. Speaking oh, of, oh speaking I like of that. Big. I like that. Great you know what I mean? Yes, great. great transition. You feel me? This, this, I helped you on that. Th you didn't help me with I shit. I threw the Ollie for that. No, you don't even know what you're doing. You're blind in here. <laughs> you blind the Ollie in here. My I eyes wide the, open. I threw the Ollie for that. I want to talk about Think Big. Mm -hmm. Give me the, uh, the origin and explain Think Big to me. Bet. So Think Big, you know, originally was born out of my real love for cannabis, mm. clearly. You know, I... um. And that really starts in Atlanta, Georgia, strangely oh. enough, you know. I was in Atlanta. We moved out there from Jersey when I was, like, probably three or four. And that was, we moved out there in 2000. So mm. when it was we coming was, up. Yeah, real mm -hmm. early, you know, mom was still signed to Bad Boy. And, you know, that was Bad Boy South. We lived in the, in the country club in the country. with 112. Right. That's crazy. That's and crazy. everybody down there, so... Usher would be at the crib, Missy, you know, everybody was coming through. And we had a studio in our basement, and that's really where I remember first smelling cannabis, you know. Mm. Right. First smelling the Votivo candles. <laughs> you know? First time smelling the, the Nag Champa, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? <coughs> so I always knew, I like this. This right. is my energy. Like, this is, How old was you? I was three or four. Now, real Just talk, smelling, because me too. Smelling yeah, it. Like, like, three, it, it's we was crawling right? on the, I was crawling on the ground. That's like, crazy. I'm with you on that. Sneaking in the studio, because we on was that. up past our bedtime. Mm -hmm. Like. So I already knew I wasn't supposed to be there. Like, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So these, all these senses are kicking in, hearing the music, you know, hearing her early albums being created. Oh, like, that was legend, golden era. You know golden what I'm saying? Era. So that's really where it starts. It's in fine. the basement, at the crib, you know, me and my brother sneaking in the studio, me and my sister being up late. And then we moved to L.A. in 2004, and that's really where... Everything sort of shifted. Everything's changing. Come to LA from Atlanta, like and way New more York, open, Atlanta, way more free. LA. Yeah. So I was born in New York, lived in Jersey, New York for a little bit, Atlanta, and we moved to LA. And mm. I can't really say I would ever leave LA, honestly, mm. unless wow. it's going back to New York. LA for, over New York. LA over New York. I, that's just my personal I'm with opinion. You. I, I'm not with you, opinion. but I understand. I know I'm, I'm with hurting, you, bro. I know I'm hurting oh, a lot you, of people. You're not, you're I'm hold sorry. Yo, bro, that I was know. a question for you. I have but for you. I'm but hurting see, a lot of people. See, I understand the reasons of why you would say it. You know, I've been raised here. Like, been here. At the end of, yeah, like, this is where I was raised. Like, this is where I'm most comfortable. Mm. So, you but know. you all, we love you in New York. I love yeah. New York at the end we of the love day. Like, I, I could definitely do my, Anything you know, you my want stints in New York. there. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I'll, I'll do a bid there, but like, <laughs> it's, not, it's not where I really want to be. Like, mm -hmm. when it gets mm -hmm. ugly. Yeah, I'm like, with when you. it gets ugly, it's ugly. And I'm not built for that. I'm right. not. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that cold. It's more cool real. vibes. Yeah. Cool vibes. It gets real. But 
<coughs> that's really where Think Big starts. And, you know, once I moved to L.A., got in high school, you know, once I was 15, first time I smoked weed, I just knew, hmm. okay, this is, uh, this is it. This is it. This is cool. I like this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The vibe. This is it. And I knew I'm comfortable <laughs> now. I can, I can, you know, this I can be myself, mm-hmm, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And start questioning things, questioning the world, obviously. Mm-hmm. And my youngest brother, Ryder, we, he was born with autism. And, you know, we started using CBD to help him with, you know, help him just kind of really? live a more comfortable life. You know, he was, we thought he would be nonverbal. And as we continued to, you know, medicate him through different you know, as opposed to Ritalin or the mm-hmm. pharmaceutical way. You know, my mom was always against that. So that was really where it started for me, researching cannabis, understanding the plant mm. as a tool for mm. all of these different, you know, things other than just recreation. Yeah, other than just recreation, me liking to get high and yeah, be comfortable yeah. and, you know, in tough environments. But it was, it was for my brother, understanding that. And then that kind of led me to, Studying it more about cancer, doing research. My grandmother battled with breast cancer, and Mm -hmm. my great grandmother, who's turning turning ninety nine this year, God God bless her, who lives in Jamaica. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, they. She, I've been giving them different ointments and medical topicals and creams, Mm -hmm. and they loving it. So, just educating that way and trying to keep doing the shit I know my pops would do. So that's really Mm. where Think Big was born. Mm. Um, And now we we. Launched uh, Frank White. We just put out the first collab with Mitchell and That's S. hard. So, you know. We, I was going to get to that. Yeah, thank you for my Frank White yeah, team, of course. Yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah we got, I got a pack me. for you coming once we get everything, you know. Yeah. No, I need of course. that. I need of course. that. I need that. You know, I, I want to double back to something that was super interesting to me because mm-hmm. it, it connected with, with, with me as well. Because my youngest son is autistic. Really? He's 12. Okay. And, you know, at the beginning, we, like, it was hard for me to accept at the beginning right. because you know I didn't really understand it I didn't Science. understand yeah. it was just like everything first it came from me being guilty like why me right yeah. and then yeah. it's like why him right, right. after right. you really let it soak where you can't really be selfish like you know with that mm-hmm. but I never knew about CBD being something that was you know yeah that could be used for that even though you know he's He's very verbal. He reads. Right. He's very, you know, he's special in his way of just knowing things. Like, I feel like he's gonna be something in the in the entertainment world with cartoons or something okay. like that. Mm-hmm. Facts. Yeah. This nigga creates Facts. his own toys and wow. he's just a student of shit. Like he'll tell me where Spider Man derived from and like Okay. He's a super nerd when it comes to that. Like how I'm a nerd for wrestling, wrestling. he's a nerd for Marvel and DC okay. and okay. you know, and Obviously, you know, talking about it, I get a little emotional because it's just crazy because it's like, you know, at the beginning, I didn't think, I didn't know what to think. Right. (laughs) You know what I mean? Right. But hearing the CBD thing, that's something interesting. Like, that's something I might want to explore. And I'm hearing, I'm hearing stories about, you know, kids when they, even when they grow up and they grow, you know, depending on their their level, you know what I'm saying, on the spectrum, Hmm. some smoke weed and that, that, that's one of those things that really helps. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Depending on the cases, obviously, hmm. you know, but I'm, I've, I've been reading a bunch of different stories. And one of the first stories I actually heard about in high school and, you know, the company Jaden's Juice is founded by this guy whose son was had epilepsy and autism. And hmm. they formulated a product that helped him go from like thousands of seizures a day or thousands a week to like, you know, less than 10 mm seizures you know total like in a month mm. from using this cut it down cbd all the way down. with thc type of tincture and just putting it under his tongue and you know i mean this is so many stories Cannabis about is how amazing, it helps B. and how it can really change people's lives bro and you know so i always i'm always thinking about just how we can continue to help kids and children like yours my brother Anybody else that's going through those those small things that people don't, you know, in a legal state, we get it so easily. New York, shout out to New York going legal now. Yeah. Finally. Finally. You know? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's like. You said that with a little bit no, of for real, bro. Because it's like, it's so, it's, y'all behind. Like, yeah. so far behind. And like. We ahead, but, but behind. I mean, like, in certain areas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Facts. But when it comes to that, it just, you know. 
the way it's going to change people's lives from not having to go all the way to Boston, go all the way to Jersey, that's a fact. go all the way to You know Portland. what I'm saying? That's, just, fact, that's right? like, that's going to change people's lives. They're already, you know, not everybody can afford to just be crossing the bridge every fucking week. That's a just, fact. You know what I'm saying? Not I'm going to tell you a funny story. We at the hotel, right? So you know us. Mm -hmm. We ain't want to dink the room out, so we go outside, but we mm -hmm. go to the cut. Mm -hmm. Like, we still in New York. Like, we high and smoking. Yeah, so exactly. the security guard said he, he kept circling. You know what I'm saying? Then uh -huh. he's like, yo, man, no disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Put y'all back. And he was like, oh, y'all just smoking? He was like, yo, just go in the front, man. He's like, it's just weed. He was like, yo, where y'all from? We like, you New York. He was like, man, oh, that's why y'all high. He was like, yeah, exactly. they just legalized it. Yeah. So I'm just like, yo, we went in the cave. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's what New York is doing. we do. Niggas that's just crazy. smoke, look around. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? We could just smoke. But out here, it's yeah. just like, that's crazy, B. It's, I just had to tell it. that little, you know what I'm saying? It's going to change people's lives, man. I did. I had no idea that you, you had a son born with autism. Man. Yeah, bro, it's crazy. And I, yeah. you know, I have twins. Well, I got three okay. kids. My my oldest is mm -hmm. sixteen, mm -hmm. and I had twins. And my daughter is super. She was, you know, superseded. Everything. Had a hard time. Mm -hmm. Had a hard time. Mm -hmm. And my son, you know, he was on a spectrum. Mm -hmm. You know, so but but now it's like you wouldn't even know. Yeah. Because he's just, you know, he's socially. Yeah. He's just cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like yes. he just, yes. just the cool. Like, he's his exactly. father, bro. Real yeah, exactly. talk. The cool just dude. A cool little kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, bro. That yeah. that that shit just blew my mind. Yeah. Because everybody look at taboo at, at marijuana like taboo. You know what I mean? Of course. Like well, the of people course. that's not you know, uh, doing the research and involved like we're involved in it. Really? Like, yeah. Not just in it just to consume it and be like, oh, I'm high. Yeah. Like yeah. you know, even though I'm shit. I'm saying that, and at the same time, I'm like, I didn't know CBD could could be a a, a, a cure? positive. Oh yeah, positive for for autism. Like, how the fuck did right. I not? I would have been selling that a long time ago. Oh, just yeah. thought, just the thought, the narrative yeah. of it. Like, yes sir, that shit. Yes sir, is, that's definitely. But now you know. Shit. You learn something learn new every day, day bro. bro. Like, for <laughs> real, bro. Oh, God. God. You just like, broke something real right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, man. It's something I've been trying to, like, keep preaching and talking about, and I'm hearing a lot of different, Every you know, I go to different cannabis conventions, and not lately because it's, you right, know, shut no down. Shit. But as we getting back open, I'm hoping I can keep telling these stories because it, mm -hmm. can, it can change anybody's life, like, honestly. so Facts. Yeah, man. man it's, it's really a blessing, bro, just to be able to advocate for your family you know what Facts. i'm saying and not just be doing something that's oh i'm just here to make money off cannabis like right. and yeah. sell shit that's with crazy. my dad's name on it you know what i'm saying gotcha. so that's never been it's never been the goal you know what i mean so, right. so moving on yeah, like but um acting mm -hmm. how you like mm -hmm. that how's that going i mean obviously this has been sort of taking a lot of my time just being building these brands and doing all of this but i'm still trying to make my own stuff like i want to develop my own content you know mm. what i mean that's really unless somebody comes to me with the dopest role ever like you right, know what i'm right, saying right, like, right. it's gotta be something crazy that was a but, question for you too you know what i mean like that's that's what what what, what 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 role is that do you imagine that role right now oh man i i really can you see it as an actor like, cause as a rapper, they know yeah, what they want to like, course, who they want to feature with. Like, who do you want to work with? Like, who? Mm, man, if I could work with any anybody, it's honestly, yeah. it's a lot of young dudes that's really yeah. like talking like, shit. Y'all, y'all watch Snowfall? And yeah, um, okay. he always referenced so, Snowfall. Yeah, like, I, I should have you brought that up. Crazy. <laughs> 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 After that last episode, I'm like, this nigga's fucking young Denzel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, like for real, he yeah. can, he's, yeah, he's he's killed. just like Daniel from mm -hmm. from Get Out and all that. Like facts. young niggas killing it. Mm -hmm. Like, what made so, you get into acting though? For me, it was notorious. You know that's what I'm saying? That was I know it. That wasn't. I wasn't planned. That was really not. It was nobody else. I, that for wasn't the role, even something bro. I wanted to do at first. You know That's what crazy. I mean? Like honestly, I was, I was kind of scared to do that. Like mm. playing your father yeah. in his biopic is kind of like. It's a lot of you know. You can really you you had you to that up. Yeah, 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 <laughs> if you <laughs> fuck that up, now nah, you're no so going back though, bro. Like it's no going mm -hmm. back from that. So, you know, I just wanted to make sure that I was obviously you know we. We we share so many, just everything. You Honestly, father, we talk bro. similar. I, so many people tell me they, they like, you know, 
certain gestures that we both do and the way I walk and you know obviously growing up in LA I have my differences but right 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 being right. able to play him was was one of those things like you know that really opened up my curiosity to know more about him and mm. I was so young at that time I was like 13 when I did that so 12 13 years old it was and for it to be my first acting experience that was that was major. Shout Tilton. out George Tillman, the director, you know what I mean? And my acting coach that really helped me get into character. And yeah, it was it was fun. That was fun. fun. And what was your favorite role that you favorite played? role ever so far would be Kicks that I did Kicks. with, with, with Justin. <laughs> shout out Justin Tiffin. And shout out Chris. Shout out Jack King. Shout latest, out Kofi. That was your latest, right? You know? No, that was that was um that was in twenty I filmed it in 2014. 14? That was my third project, third project. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that came out in 16, 16. but we filmed it in, in 14. So, yeah, man, that was fun. We shot that in Oakland. It was beautiful, man. I never really got to spend that much time in Oakland. Mm -hmm. You a Cali love. dude. Yeah, no, we, yeah, know. We, we, go, get it. Just, we get it. That's a drive. <laughs> like, you know what I'm we get it. We get it. Yeah, man, it was, it was cool, though. It was, Oakland got some people. After, after being able to chill there, I can agree. Oakland is like the cooler they have way cooler people than la like i'm gonna just be real right and they it's got way the best, cooler they got people the best weed too. and that's where it's all coming from yeah. everything's coming from up there so everything coming from you know that's so it's the great. mecca yeah in a way in a lot of ways mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got you. yo did you ever think about making music was that of ever course. a thought of course be i honestly thought that i was gonna be you know rapping singing i sing too so or you know what I'm saying? I was, in the, I was in the choir in sixth grade when they go. <laughs> you know? But yeah, man, I, I always always pictured myself just, you know, doing music. Me and my younger brother, Josh, we was in a group together for a long time, just trying to, you know, recreate diggable planets and, mm, you know, diggable planets. That was, diggable. I told that him was to like, that. I crazy. told him to do a sample, a cool <laughs> like that, and he never that's, did it. That's like, Relax. One of my I, I favorite groups. One of my favorite groups. Loud, Digital Planet. You don't listen to me. Trying to redo Lucy Pearl. You know, we had like a female artist that we was also developing. And, you know, it's, you know, now it's more focused on my brother. He's really, he was always the one that we just knew was going to be the artist. And I kind of followed his lead, mm. even as an older brother, like just kind of <laughs> followed him. And, you know, he's, he's really the DJ producer. He does it all, man. Sing, rap. And he's dope. That's that's Jihad, man. So that's fine. I'm, I got I got you got to send me some yeah. links. Yeah, gotta check that out. Yeah, he's a producer too, man. I'm gonna send you some yeah, of this send shit. Me, send yeah. me a pack. You Definitely. know I like I like good beats, yeah, man. You bro. got a good ear. Send yeah. send some, some, some of that you. smoke business shit you. to me, man. I, got I need you. that. You're doing your homework. I'm I'm happy. I'm happy with you. I'm gonna let you. You know you got the dance floor. Don't I'm gonna say that, man. I'm learning, bro. This is this is royalty, brother. Relax. You do relax. You doing good. I was raised with respect. You telling me to relax. I'm hyping. You calm. You smoke this today. I'm not smoking. Go ahead, today. man. Don't do you that. You got it. Don't You're do doing that. good. Let's I'm, talk I'm about good. sneakers. Right. Yo, right. Thank you. Favorite sneakers, man. Oh, Don't do me man. like this. Right Don't now? do me Can like I do a this, top man. Five? Like, do a top five. Damn. You give me more. Give me more. Do like, the top five. One sneaker is like impossible for me to just say. I got one sneaker. Because right now, this is my favorite shoe. Ooh, this is my favorite that's... shoe. Sneaker. Very cozy. I'm very comfortable. I'm trying to be comfortable as possible. You're Yeezy oh, man? man back there. You're Yeezy man? Cozy shit. You said what? You're Yeezy dude? I have two pairs of Yeezys. I can't do the... the the Yeah, the, I can't, I can't do those. Too narrow. I can't yeah, do it. It's my just my foot. Shit. My mm -hmm. foot ain't... Mm -hmm. I'm not yeah, built I got, I got wide feet. I got monkey I got a wide feet, foot. So those, they, they stretch yeah. out and they start looking weird after I wear them a lot. That's a fact. But I like... I like easy. I like Top five. I'm not about to disrespect easy mm -hmm. right now. Okay. I have, I'm early. I was early on it. I had the boots. I got the boot joints. I'm with the you. Military Trust joints. me, bro. I, I like those. Yeah. And I'm going to just, you know, I got the, the foam looking ones. Them joints is cool too. But I'm not really heavy on easy right now. All right. I always stay, you know, try to stay in the same classic lane. Got you. I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of dunks right now. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm getting back that. on my dunk wave. They're back, so it's good to be mm -hmm. back yep. on them. I'm you know, with you. I'm with you. I miss the. They need to drop the I'm dooms bobbing. again. I think they, they need are. to drop the dooms for Doom are. one time. R.P. Doom, because they should have already did that. Like, 
I haven't had those since I was in like sixth grade. Summertime, so. I hope we get that. Oh man, maybe we might have manifested. We might have manifested that. I need those. I'm putting it in the universe so I can. Because a lot of things yeah, I yeah, say yeah, just yeah. happen. Manifest, you know manifest, baby. Just, they, things happen. Yeah, we like into that. that. We into manifesting. You know I mean? Let's do it. Things happen, but okay. mm -hmm. if I could give you a top five sneaker right mm -hmm. now, fuck. You ain't got to think too hard. Okay, I'm gonna give you just my favorite Jordan. Let's go. Because that's what's on my mind. Okay, I'm with you. I'm gonna go with ones. Okay. This is no particular order. No particular order. Okay. Okay. I, can, I can't really rate shit. One. Three. Okay. Four. Uh huh. Five. Okay. Six. That's like top five. In, in like retro, going, retro. if I'm going retro, that way. I'm with you. If I'm going that I'm way. I'm with you. He's not a Jordan man. But I'm, I'm gonna throw in eleven. Nines. And sevens. Would like you wear the sixteens? Was those the, the strap, right? I love it so much. Yeah. I had those. With the strap? Yeah, you look like a sixteen guy. Uh, if you ever had a pair of Jordans, you would be a sixteen. No, I had a lot of I, well not a lot. I had um I had the elevens. I had um aren't the elevens the space jams? Right? Yeah. I had those. Yep. I just I had, got the ones that just mm -hmm. dropped. I had the Concords. Yeah. And I had the nines, the funny mm. joints. Yeah, I like the nines so. But I, but I like in the collabs they're doing, man. They're doing some crazy shit. Like, like Travis shit oh, yeah, is hard. Yeah, Travis yeah, shit yeah. is crazy. You ever think about doing something like that? Of course. Of course. That's like, you know. It, you got Nike. Influence. If it's just a Nike, you know, do your own Air Force. Like, that's just classic. I like all classic shit that's just going to stand forever. Test the time. You know what I'm Test saying? Test the time, it's, yeah. It's like, you know, Substance. I don't want to do nothing crazy that, you know. But a classic Force would be fire. Got you. Jordan 1, fire. You know? Got you. Don't want to recreate the wheel. Gave me that. I got one more for you. Mm -hmm. Juices. You went yeah. to juices. What's your, what's, your, what's, your, what's your favorite mix? Favorite juice right now? I got a lot of recipes, yo. Like, hold on. Yeah, yeah, spit them <laughs> out, man. Spit them out. I got a lot of Spit recipes I'm, I'm for you. I'm trying to get on that. He trying to get me healthy, man. Oh, he man. talk about I eat pork and all this. You know what I'm saying? Listen, so I'm, 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 I've am I'm, been I've been juicing a lot. Like, uh -huh. instead of just smoothies, because the juice, you actually get more nutrients from juicing. And I didn't fucking know this. Nobody told me. But from juicing, like, impressing the juice. You take you all get, the natural nutrients You get all the natural out. nutrients yep. out of the juice, or out of the fruit. Mm -hmm. And I've been putting my juices in my smoothies. And that's kind of making them next level. So mm. if you could juice grapes, papaya, and grapefruit, get like two grapefruits, get a bunch of green grapes, because like they don't you need a lot of them to mm -hmm. really get a lot of juice from it, and like one or two papayas, bro, the most fire Healthy juice dude, ever. Hmm. I'm going to just let y'all know. Thank me later. <laughs> now I'm with, like, you. I'm with you on that. Fire. Don't do too much grapefruit. It can get sour. This is all I'm going to tell y'all. But my favorite smoothie that I've ever made, kale, pineapple, mango, banana. That's really it. And then you throw granola in there if you want. I'd fuck with the granola. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the little coconut, granola. you know what I no mean? Coconut. Give it a little tropical, you uh -huh, know? Uh -huh. Give it a vibe. Vibes. Coconut water. Favorite weed after that? Which you, you smoke with the smoothie. You got to have the blunt. Mm. Then it's the smoothie with the blunt. I'm not picky, bro. Like, mm. I don't... I'm, I enjoy hybrids. I don't really like to be too couch lock like this nigga's weed. Because yeah. <laughs> this shit got me really like. Yeah, you mellow over there. But I, I, you, I ain't lit that shit back up this whole time. Like, you do realize that. I see. I'm like, I'm going to let stingy. that shit He ain't stingy I'm with you. He's stingy to, with me. Nah, that's a little I'm not, I'm not trying to be it's fucked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> you think yeah, I got to pay. That shit was motherfucking crazy. That's, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm with this nigga nah, every day. You too entitled. You too entitled. Man, I ain't gotta, gotta See, you I can't expect much. With you, bro. But when you, you doing expect good, things, you, might get some you get disappointed. You That's why I don't expect nothing. Because you get disappointed when today. you start expecting things. I got, I got, I got a couple more for my man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, keep nah going. I'm you're excited, doing, you're man. You're doing great. I got nothing to say, brother. Come on, man. Continue. I, 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 I promise you, I'm not even being sarcastic today. <laughs> you're doing so good. I'm very proud of you. You always being sarcastic. My favorite strain would probably be, like, if I had to only smoke this strain for the rest of my life. Oh, shit. Probably Gorilla Glue, number Gorilla four. Glue. Gorilla Glue, number four. That's good. Oh it's a good, dog. good power pack, but not couch lock. Like, you know. I'm with you on that. Yeah. 
I'm the OGs sur- just get too crazy sometimes. If I gotta go that way. But I love OG. Like, yeah. this is somebody who smokes everything. <laughs> so don't think I don't fuck with the power pack. I just don't like it on a beautiful sunny day where you wanna right. be up and outside. See, yeah, that's my so. problem, man. I be wanting to pungent shit all day. I feel you. I need he like shit fruit that's punch. He mix it up. Man. He I throw all his weed in a jar. He mm-hmm. buy a mad different weed, throw it in a jar, and mix it up. He's a he's a he's a next level type yeah, of nigga. I, I gotta mean, I just, that's my I dope. just wanna yeah, you know I mean smoke good weed. If it's all good weed together, I just got I want to. I don't want to say burnt out. I think I got burnt out by like the thought process. How everybody moving with the weed, where it's like, oh, you need that, you need that, you need that. Until now, you know, we got our weed in stores and shit. Give me an air horn for that. Right. We got our weed in stores right now. We fully compliant. Yes, sir. Smokers Club. Yes, sir. White label. You know what I mean? Donuts. Hey. Talk. Critters. Talk. Check your lungs. Yeah, you Please. know what I mean? Please check your lungs. Because I did it. Everything I ain't going to get. I did it. <laughs> and I'm fucking. Everything he ain't about to pass me. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, know what I mean? We in the Marathon store. We in Cookies Melrose. And we're going to be in a bunch of other different shops, too. And, um, you know, our dispensary in Detroit is uh, opening soon as well. But um, how did you get into juicing? Like, how did you get into, like, when did it? dawn on you like you know what this is my thing like i fuck with this so i always love smoothies i always just really really love smoothies being in la you kind of it's kind of hard to like it's one of those things it's health-based. they kind of throw healthy shit yeah, health based at you out here like you're gonna come across a I, wheatgrass I like the shot first piece right. with the, every now with and, the and grades. then right. and then you're just gonna venture into an earth cafe and you might you know just, just look man I'm with you, man. I'm, just, I'm not trying to, like, even disrespect them because they really are great people. But white people just do different things. And when you hang out with white people, you just end up in a juice bar. Or in a, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you funny. end up in a juice bar <laughs> or funny. Earth Cafe, yeah. and you're like, okay, it's kind of cool. Like, One of my best by. friends is a white boy, so I've yeah. been... <laughs> Stumble into yeah, a I'm juice still, bar. I'm, 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 I'm meeting juice. white people right now. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. I'm meeting. I don't got. I'm meeting white people. Let's but just say that. It was. It was really. It was really That's cold. That's that Broadway shit, man. <laughs> what I told wrong, you about that. Bro, I, just said I had a personal conversation right now, about you with that, man. I'm from. I'm from 144th Street, nigga. That's you know that. That's they no. Moved in in that is not a fucking excuse. You hear me? Bro, Ignoramus. I went to a school. I All went right, to IS90, bro. You went to Brandon Niggas Roses, what? too, man. Ain't yeah. nobody white in that school, bro. Not one person. Two we teachers, have three this teachers. Conversation, Cooley, I'm not Later going. Later on. Yo, we're not going to do this. Let's get, let's, get let's get back. Let's get back. Let's get back to the get back. Let's get back to the get back. COVID really Sorry, is what, <laughs> other than growing up and just loving smoothies and, you know, being in L.A., COVID happened. And I realized I can't go out to eat as much you know it was just started adding up getting the uber eats and postmates to the crib every day <laughs> and i don't like to cook as i just i just don't like to cook often i like to cook but i don't like to cook every day like right. i can't do that it's just hard you're crazy if you can do that by the way i just i don't know uh, how yeah, yeah. it's just hard to I'm keep doing new recipes yeah, and coming up yeah. with something new feel like you grandma really like, you feel like you gotta need the soul you gotta really soul. love it and i know yeah. people who do I need help when it comes to that. Like, Same. I need somebody who can. Yeah, I, I need a woman. Yeah. Bingo. I'm with you. <laughs> Hello. I need a woman. <laughs> I need a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, guys. But, yeah, once COVID happened, I'm like, I got to just be able to store something in the freezer and just be able to, if I want something real quick, I can throw together a smoothie, take five, ten minutes, boom, easy. And I got a bunch of it in the freezer. I don't have to keep going to the store as much, so I'm saving money. I'm not eating as much, healthy, helping me in every area of life, helping me energetically, helping me with the women, helping me on some, you, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So it's kind of cheat codes, really. Man. If you yeah. really want to be on some different shit, I'm telling you. Yeah. Get, <laughs> you know, get, it. get healthy. Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. you. I'm listening. I'm you, look, it's all tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. You got me. I got yeah, you. Yeah. you. Do you want to live longer? I want to do all that. Do you want to like live forever? I want to live. I want to. I want to be like better. I want to feel like better. My great grandma, ninety nine. Like I want to be ninety nine. Me day. too. I want to hit ninety nine. Yeah. My grandfather's so, ninety seven. And still be locked in. Sorry, and still be locked in. That's that island blood. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, keep it on ninety two. 
You gotta. I'm just going to end up in Jamaica. Like I already know that at some point, <laughs> just have my. I feel own. like being in the islands, you preserve yourself. Mm-hmm. Now I mean, like the living, the living. Like my grandparents, you know, they they all they make like alternative fucking moves. Like mm-hmm. my grandma I'll go for six months. My granddad would be in New York. My grandma would come back. My, you know, it'll be yeah. like the, the whole yeah. cycle of it. And I feel like that's what helped them keep living. Yeah. Just being out there and just, you know, my granddad is in a planting, so he plants all his food. That's real. So is still, my grandma. Still yeah, right now, you know what I mean? He, the yeah. nigga's walking around and yeah. just living his life, dancing, Crazy. just doing what he's yeah. doing. Yeah. And I feel like it's preserved just from being out there. Yeah. So I, I feel you. I, I feel you. I feel yeah. you on that shit, too. Yeah, man. Got to get some land. I'm, I'm, I'm trying Gotta to get, get like, some, land. some good I'm land out there, yeah, bro. You. Yeah. I'm I'm on yeah, that stocks man. and land. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm trying I'm, I'm trying to advance crypto, myself, bro. All crypto. Of it. I'm trying you to get all crypto? that. I'm just now really getting. See, this is what I'm doing. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. I got a lot of white boys. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with really you. on it. I'm, I'm with you. And I'm just throwing them yeah. a little something here. And just let that grow. Yeah, like, no, I'm with you. Like plants. Not a, like just plants. Throw them seeds. Yeah, like, I'm with you. On God. Like, that's really, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I just want to, I don't have time to really consume myself in it and get educated, but I just want to see what it can do if I if you just throw invest it here, invest there. But Now, my yeah, man bro, Vinny Mac making it. me a believer. Oh, okay. yeah, he's making see, me a believer. Like, Everybody I'm not, I'm doing I'm it. not totally um, schooled on the whole stock thing like that. Mm. Although I, I did make some slight investments that's flourishing right now, mm-hmm. just so fucking with Robin Hood. Uh-huh. Um, I got in the Dodge coin just from the people that was behind it. So if you got Elon Musk and Mark Cuban right. behind something, right. that the cryptocurrency is going to be accepted where the Dallas Mavericks play, like that's the whole play and the thought process to it. It's like, okay, okay, you don't really have to school me too much to know that, okay, this is the guy that made Tesla. And this is one of the most richest. Guys. Well, both of them is, you know, two rich yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then combining forces and stock is just basically word of mouth. You know, like even us talking about it right now is going to drive exactly. the stock up for exactly. that. Exactly. Thank, thankfully, I caught it at 18 cents. I think it's approaching 50. Mm-hmm. So that little investment is starting to turn me on to other things. Right. And now that, you know, our favorite plant is legalized, mm-hmm. we can buy wheat stock. Right. It's shit in there too. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's you that's know, I'm right. even thinking about getting into the world, like just doing an NFT just now. That blew my fucking mind, bro. Mm-hmm. Just the amount of money I made. And then to think I could have made more money if I really understood the process right. after putting out the NFT. Right. Knowing that, okay, you got to do a clubhouse to really activate it because mm-hmm. that's where the crypto world lives. Mm-hmm. And as you know, me being, I'm not anti-social. Obviously, I'm social, sociable guy. Right. Yeah. You know, right. but at the end of the day, I'm slightly introverted because right. I don't really want to spend my whole day on Clubhouse. Or on you, your phone, On period. my phone, period. I, I don't you. even like, I hate I social media, bro. I hate, like. I hate it. I love it, yeah, but I hate it. I hate it too, bro. You know, Everybody, because. like, if you love it, you kind of are a little bit nuts. Like, you kind of are. Super a nuts bit. because like, it's delusional. Yeah, like, it's a delusional yeah, world. Like, but see, yeah. I love it for the fact that we could promote. That's our brand promoter. That's where. That's our mm-hmm. TV channel. Mm-hmm. You know, but like every yeah. every TV network is bullshit channels. Right. Right. So right. me and, and knowing that how people are programmed to these bullshit channels, it, it makes you not want to watch TV. So that's my perfect analogy for social media. But um. Where the fuck was I before no, I got to that? I'm NFTs. Because like, that shit yeah, just, NFT. you know, yeah, I got yeah. into social media and I just was about yeah, to go yeah, on a social yeah, media yeah. rant. No, for real. But basically, you know, knowing all the extra things I got to do with the NFT, now when I go into my next release, which mm-hmm. is 420, I don't know when this episode is going to come out. It should come out tonight, mm-hmm. the, the, the audio. Um, but um, me having a, the cover of my next project, the Hustlers Catalog 2, being my next NFT release, I know now, Okay, I gotta go open that clubhouse room. Yeah. I gotta go talk to the people that's really in that world. And <clears throat> to my understanding, like everything, that's like, you know, if, let me just throw somebody out there fucking random. Like if Barack Obama right now, mm-hmm. maybe not even use Barack Obama, let's use fucking, um, who's somebody that's not in the weed world at all? Somebody totally left. I can't, I, I can't. I don't know why Holly Berry name came to mind. Let's head. say, nah. I don't know why her name. Oh, came Jake to Paul. Mind. Let's say Jake Paul. 
I don't know if he smokes weed or not. And I like Jake Paul. I'm sure he smokes weed. Yeah, he probably smoked weed. He's probably I'm sure he smoked weed. Well, uh, well, let's just say, insert <laughs> somebody like boy. Jake, Jake Paul that did, that did smoke. He probably sure do he smoke weed. Yeah, he, yeah. Probably, yeah. he do he everything. He knows a little bit sure. of everything. I, I can't even think about it, but somebody that's not in the weed world, just coming out of nowhere yeah. and just being like, all right, I got my own weed, and everybody I tried. Somebody with influence, right. like Paris Hilton or some, or some yeah. shit like that. Yeah, yeah. And she probably smoked weed, too. No disrespect exactly. to these people. I'm just uh, using somebody as a placeholder. They get it. Right. So that's me in the NFT world, because I'm not really in the world to really even know i understand the base and i understand how to get money and i understand who to partner with to get the money right but i'm not actually in the world like they're in the world like actually monitoring shit and having these conversations and shout out to all of them because i i seldomly search my name mm-hmm. and i see what people are talking about mm-hmm. and i see there was a conversation where they was like yeah and smoke doesn't have one and paris hilton's went for 1.5 million and his auction on his baby picture was only 2500 and my mind i'm like niggas just bought my baby picture for 2500 dollars yeah. So it just blew my whole fucking mind that a nigga just wanted my baby picture. That's crazy. But knowing that if I would have promoted this thing, that's crazy. On the channels where it's yeah. being promoted, because yeah. all I know is Instagram and Twitter. Right. You know, I'm a. That's my world. Right. I'm not the clubhousey guy, although yeah. I'm on it and I have followers. But like you know, yeah, we're not trying well, yeah, to do that shit all day. But I haven't been in a room once. Right, yeah. but now I know tonight I gotta fucking yeah. go get one of them fucking curators and yeah. curate me a room, right. and sit in there with those people and fucking get educated, yeah. because I can't be under a rock. Of course not. Mm. You know what I mean? And, that, and that's where fucking technology is going with all this exactly. crypto shit and exactly, all that shit man. is fucking. It's out of here. It's yeah. money digital somebody, now. Somebody who knows the game, man. That's money how is everything digital. else works, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. You know. Speaking of NFTs, man, you got a lot of cool things you can do with NFTs. Man. Oh man. You don't think I'm yeah. thinking about it. <laughs> you, you need to. <sighs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's man. early right now. Maybe, you know what I mean? Early. When I start that room, hop in there with me. And we Definitely. both, since we both hate it, we can do Definitely. it together. It, it, it'll help us get through it. Definitely. You know what I mean? So much stuff that I've been seeing. And, man, I can't even. I don't even know if I can really talk no, about it. No, we're going to chat out. We're going to chat outside. Yeah, exactly. Because there's a lot of stuff that I would love your involvement in as well. Oh, nah, nah, for sure. Would, yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. For yeah. sure. You know, I'm with you. You know, it was one time you sent me this, um, when you were, you were working on a project where it was basically like, um, I want you to explain it because you can explain it better. The mm-hmm. mashup that you did. The, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought it was super cool because everybody uses your dad's vocals in like a hip hop way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the way you flipped it mm-hmm. was cool enough for me to be like, oh, just a little vibe. What was the thought process into that? So basically, um, this producer actually came to us with the idea. Mm. And we really, we really just loved the idea. And it was like, man, this is something that we really just want to get behind. And unfortunately, the relationship with the producer hasn't really, it isn't really what we wanted, hoped it would be. Mm-hmm. But, you know what I'm saying? It's a dope idea that I, hopefully I, we can really, really perfect and come back on. Because, man, it's, it's such a dope, something that I've always thought about in growing up in L.A., you know what I'm saying? Going to Coachella, going to these mm-hmm. festivals and stuff, and being around that EDM atmosphere and the house music atmosphere that's something that i have grown up on you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so that's part of me i would say definitely. just as much as hip-hop and r&b and all of these other things so you know i appreciate all genres so the real idea was like oh yeah no brainer like we gotta do that that's like and it's something that i've thought of before it's not like he came with this idea that i never right, thought about right, you know right, what i'm right, saying right, so right, right. it was it was a team effort really that i really hope we can come back on at some point very soon but you know it's such a such a dope idea man and, yeah, and it's, it's it's so not thought of people don't really you hear it kind of if you're in that atmosphere but to be able to really do a full project recreate you know some of the dopest samples and mm-hmm. put them on some house vibes man that's just it's out a vibe. Here. It's out a of vibe. Here. It's a, it's a vibe. Here. What's your dad's? What's your? What's your dad's favorite song? Mm. Oh man, 
That's like the sneakers, man. I can't. <laughs> it's like, yo, just one? And it's such a short amount to choose from, but still, man. It's, it's, it's really tough, bro. Favorite? Yeah, I can't. I, of I all don't time. even have one, bro. I ain't gonna Cause I, got, I, I, got, I got one. I got I usually What's answer yours? that with, like, Nah, a I got one, one too, though. I answer it with a new one every time. Like, it's like. Yeah, me too. Every time I I'm answer it, it's a new right one. Now. I ain't gonna like, hold you. You've been on Scott's. I, I, I'm on Scott's the limit. Right Man, now. People, a lot a of people idiot. don't. I don't know what it is about that. I think the movie made me love it. That, mm -hmm. that scene in the mm -hmm. movie. Facts. Where he was just like, I'm the greatest. Like, and I understood it. I connected with it. Like, it was his moment that he felt like he, he knew he made a masterpiece. Yeah. That's how I felt. So like I don't know I listened to it one time and I was just like damn I, I hear it because it, it, like that song is like his growth right and yeah. you really listen to it yeah. like he came from when he was younger nigga never been as broke as me like mm -hmm. and then he went into what he wanted to give his kids and his daughter like and what yo that shit like you gotta listen to that song nigga you ain't gonna tell me <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry I know this shit like you gotta listen to that shit nigga yeah bro you ain't gonna listen to that shit like yeah I'm saying my, like my favorite my favorite big song is I got a story to tell. Mm. Cause I feel like it's the it's the best it's the greatest it's story told story <laughs> ever told. Oh, and oh, why, and why I would say that is because the fact that you really really could think like, is this real? He painted yeah. the picture, right? he painted the picture painted where it's like. Nigga, that you could turn that song into a movie. No, 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 no. <laughs> facts. That facts. is no, some facts. whole other shit. Like. Facts. Nigga, yeah. and just the whole, you know, that's the cadence. Tough, yeah, that's that's that's, such a that's dope my idea. Yeah, like turning all his songs into some <sighs> movie scenes, bro, or just like short films. <sighs> wow, every song, and like Irv I Gotti mean, was kind of doing that. He was kind of doing tales. that. He was kind of doing kinda that. Tales. But it's like big songs is a little more. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying with all I, big songs. Yeah, yeah. like that you know shit. I mean? be. And I love what Irv was doing with that yeah. shit. The tail yeah. shit was was cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But like to see big shit. That's like I got to That's crazy. Like that, you know, on the highest level possible. That's the right? highest. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. The whole, the whole like, oh man, I ain't gonna get into that. I it's really about don't. Season. I really don't have one, bro. I don't That's have a favorite. Like I really can't. I can't give you one. Like, give me three. One of my. Uh, the top three, because we all know all of the songs. Is like we not, yeah, we ain't. So doing, yeah. I just want to hear your top. Go to three. verse. That's hard. One of my that's favorite hard, verses hard. ever. Okay, I like that. Because song in general is really hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what's that verse? What's like that, that verse? That verse? Oh, man. I'll wait all day for this I shit. Think I swear to God. I think it's the victory verse. Ooh. The victory verse is so crazy, bro. Like, Ooh. I think it's so many, like, if you in the club and the victory come on, like, like, being in the club when the club was New open, York. Oh man, and victory comes <laughs> on. And you got a little, you got a little, you know, yeah, little liquor in yeah, your system, yeah, and you really yeah, like it gets you charged up. Yo. Charged <laughs> like, nah, up. that's a different that's, energy. Yeah, that's like a it's rocky a song for me. It's like, a different if, energy. If, if you had a new Rocky, I think that victory should be the. It's a different the energy. Okay. Yeah, it, it was posing victory. I'm gonna just man. go with that one because that one is like, yeah, yeah that's just one. that one. Yeah, that's I like the go-to. That's and it's one. victory, yeah, the name yeah, of the song, yeah, and yeah, yeah. just that whole vibe. That's one. I'm with, yo, thank you. That's no, a good yeah, one. Thank yeah. you. All right, I got one more question for him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. One more question for him. Did, okay. I know we ain't do no, porn star of the week, but. We're going to get to it, but do okay, you think? Okay, okay. All right, all right. <laughs> now, then, 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 like, this is probably kind of early for this question. But, like, where do you see yourself, bro? Like, like, like mm -hmm. when it's all, when you're at the end of your career looking back. Oh, man. Like, what are you trying to be known for, bro? Like, because oh, you do man. so much. Like, I look at you like a. Like, when I look at you, it's like, you mm -hmm. your father, Andre 3000. <laughs> like, you give me all those vibes, like, the vibes. Like, you going to be, like, like. I don't like to just say profit. I don't like to use that, but it's right, like right. a gym. Right. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I don't know. No, yeah, man. I'm, I'm giving you your props right now. I, I don't wanna, do this just, to men. I just want to be myself, bro. Honestly. <laughs> I'm keeping 100 with you. Yeah. Like, yeah. I see myself on an island in Jamaica. That's where I see myself. That's crazy. But I don't. I don't see myself doing anything I don't love to do. Hmm. So if it's free man, if it's creating, you know, creating literally whatever, helping other artists create, being there for my brother, being there for my family. Mm. Those is like the most important thing. The philanthropist so like, in him, I'm telling you. You know, like you. I don't see myself doing anything I don't love to do. So 
I can't really answer that question. Like, uh, nah, that's, that's, it's not just one it. thing. You answered it, brother. It's not really you one thing. It. Like, I see myself doing a lot, but yeah, in Jamaica. <laughs> on Jamaica. In Jamaica. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like that, man. On a I, little, I like that. little tucked away beach, little villa. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tucked off. Mm-hmm. See, I'm a yeah, sucker. Really. I need to go back to Guyana. You know, I mean, my parents are from Guyana. He don't like bugs. And I, don't, you know what I mean, and, <laughs> and just don't like from going out there when I was younger, nah, because it's like you know, West Indians when we we, we Americanized, right? So it's certain shit that we not used to. Yeah. Right. So when I was younger, going there, you know, it was a lot of poverty. It was a lot of shit that I yeah. wasn't used to. Yeah. On top of the mosquitoes, yeah. having to sleep with the neck around the bed and all that shit, and I'm like, get it's me different. out of here. Last time I went, I was like eight, and I said when I was eight, I'm never coming back here. So you niggas better look at me now. <laughs> right. But you know, me being older, and I think COVID kind of ruined it a little more for me because I yeah. just I'm not with all that. Stick the, the, the shit in my nose and all like yeah. I'm not with all of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, nah, of course. And you know when you when you go to like other countries and they give you COVID tests. It's, it's way different from taking those tests in America. Mm-hmm. Right. They're not gentle with that shit. Yeah, no, nah, they, they stick in the I haven't shit experienced it yet. Brain. I haven't. Um, I've only done like the self test. I yeah, haven't experienced. I, I can't fuck with it. it. Or just the, the mouth swab. I'm not doing yeah, no, no all that other shit. Touching and I, my brain. And shit. Right, and <laughs> knowing that that's gonna happen, or I'm, you know, I haven't found somewhere over there. Hopefully, you know, somebody listening on the pod. That probably been to Guyana or is in Guyana can tell me how it is because I don't know, you know. But um, being with that whole process, it really kept me away. Yeah. But I, you yeah. know, at, at some point in life, I need to take the trip. You yeah. Know what I mean, like, yeah. My parents got a lot, you know, land and shit over there that I'm definitely gonna inherit. But yeah. at the end of the day, you know, what I mean, we, I'm so Americanized. I gotta kind of program my mind reprogram my mind right to get back to the roots of things definitely and if it, they're not they're not legal out there are they or at least open to it well my cousin yeah. when i was like y'all got weed out there he was you know niggas suck their teeth <laughs> oh you ask me boy of course we got weed out here uh, what course. are you talking about of but course. i don't think i don't think they like us yet. of course not no no nowhere's you know, like nowhere's like nowhere is like, nowhere is like where we that. are right now right Right. Outside Lost, of like, like California? Nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Nowhere. <laughs> Honestly, bro, like nowhere. That's and a fact. They like we're just put in the perfect place on the planet to grow cannabis. Like, mm-hmm. Nah, that's mm-hmm. a fact. Like, the sun is crazy. It's just, it's the insane. weather's amazing. But that's not negating Jamaican tree and none of that because right. I love it. Like the sun Jamaican grown. Tree? I mean, if you... I like bud. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Experiencing a different high is cool for me. Like, right. it's right. not giving me a headache. You know what I'm saying? It's not, and I'm not, you know, I'm not super real particular about, you know, how I feel after. I'm not mm-hmm. thinking too much. Like, oh, it makes me, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I'm not just smoking. You know like, what I'm let me I'm see smoking how I feel. and I'll go for a walk and they, right. I'm cooling. Like, you know what I'm saying? Go, <laughs> you know what I mean? Go chill like on the beach. Too. If you're not feeling right, nigga. Cause they call, setting, our, you know they call our butt <laughs> chemical weed, right? Right. Like, like this, you know. Yeah, the they call it chemical weed. The gas, mm-hmm. they call it chemical yeah. weed. But yeah, I know you couldn't wait for this. Get into your, give me the um sound effect, porn star of the week. Where's that? Give, <laughs> oh, give me that. Oh, that's right here. Where's that? Right right here, Rich? No, hold on. I got to ask you a question first. Uh-huh. Wait, 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 wait. Mm-hmm. You into porn? Oh. L.A. man. I mean. You are L.A. Come man. Come man. I live in Studio City. <laughs> <laughs> He's <Right>. so hype. <laughs> Fuck. You got a favorite porn star? I don't. I wouldn't say I have a favorite. Oh, can you pick one that you've been fucking with lately? Honestly, it ain't been a. It ain't. It's been a minute since I've really, really been. Oh, you ain't into that. You no, know, it's kind of like a like off and on thing. Off and on, you know. Off what and on mean? thing, but, but when you do do it, I got it's legends. Like, how do you? Where's the like legend? I know it's the like legend. Cause I got, like, I got a porn star of the week. It's all the same. No, 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 like, I'm with you. I'm with you. I got a porn star of the week. I, I, I love. It's so many of them. I, I almost wanted to do two a week, because there's so many of them. I like. I, I discover a new girl all the time. Like, like you, I'm. Re- I really do. I do you're this. Really disrespecting a lot of them by not even. Yeah, you. You so right. Like, and the legends. Don't I say shit like that? The legends. Like, I be feel like I disrespect the legends. No, I'm keeping. I, I met one. I met somebody last night. I don't even know. I, you I, can I, say we, who you met last night. I met Candace Vaughn last night. 
Yeah. That, that shit was crazy. I got the picture. The picture nigga, fire. The Facts. nigga kissed her hand like. Oh, yeah, kissed that. You know, like, like when you watch like right. old school really? uh, sitcom. Nigga gave and, it a, like what is like Jamie? Yeah, he's he like, really said. Oh, it's so nah, nice. Nah, to meet you know what I'm saying? Nah, I respect women like, oh, who, who you know what I'm saying? Who who do that? You are 1998. Like I respect that. I look at it a whole different way. You know what I'm saying? I look at sex as power. Because when you when you control somebody sexually, like you really own them. No, real guy. I mean, so it's like a mental thing for me. I'm, I'm deep into that. But away, niggas don't even understand that. That's scary right shit. Now. I ain't giving you're away shit because it's always gonna work, baby. I can tell you what I'm gonna do and still do it, and it's gonna work. Like you know how you play ball with your little brother, like nigga, I'm gonna go this way. We in the That's game like on Ron. When right. you do that same move, when yeah, you look at the yeah. ball. And it's shooting. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody know it's coming. It's coming. But it works. You don't every know time. when like, it's coming. Work. It's about when it's coming. Stay. I'm gonna you doing it? No, I'm about to tell you something. Yes. Because we in a, we in a, uh, the age of monetizing. Yes. Right? So now, right, we're going to save that idea that you got because I like that. And once we go into your flavor of love type of style. Yeah. And then you start sharing all of that. I love it. Vaguely. I love all your ideas for me, baby. Let's get it popping. <laughs> but look, Porn Star of the Week, you ready for the drop? Come on. You ready for the drop? You going you gonna to pick a Porn Star of the Week? Mm -hmm. I think I can pick one. You think you can pick, I one? I can pick one? All right, we going with him. We going with what he picking. Y'all ready? Go ahead. Oh, man. Listen, when you watch the video, it looks better. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, stupid. Go ahead, CJ. Got the floor, baby. Man, bro. Give me one. Don't think too hard. Who got the titties? <laughs> Don't think too hard. Cause I'm into I'm into I'm into all kinds of shit. I'm into that. I'm an ass man. You an ass man? I like everything. Yeah, you know, but you into ass I man? Like a good body, you know. What yeah, I mean? I'm like, with you. Like a, a strong woman. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, I'm with you. Like a, you know what I'm saying? Man. I don't want to say horse, but you know. You know. You now, yeah, you like woo. Stallion. Yeah, stallion. When she was, I never no stallion or Meg. No Excuse Meg. me, I don't, no I don't do stallions. I, no, I I'm the stallion in every situation. No pun intended. But you know, I can't even relax. I can't, bro. I can't. You can't? I got this. Can't too come, many. Can't go with too, too many. It's too many? What you got? What you got? I, I was. You I was I, I, gonna I'm, put I'm, me on or something. I'm like, I ain't going to put you on. You know her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I felt like I had to put respect on her name because she run up the numbers. And okay. it's Mia Khalifa. And we in Cali. Mm. And I felt like Mia Khalifa runs the numbers up. And she doing anal now. She said she wasn't going to do anal, but she doing anal. They always say they go do anal. Then the niggas throw the bread. They do the anal. <laughs> I thought she was So she getting double no dicked in her ass. I thought she but wasn't doing porn no more. She probably not, but she did. I mean, she was a porn star. She, I know her no, yeah, as yeah, a motherfucking yeah. porn star. Of course, of course, I can still course. type her name up and it all comes up. So you're still a porn star to me, no matter if you ain't do it for 10 years, sis. You know what I'm saying? Like, I meet right. an old rapper. Yeah, she ain't come out with an album she's, in a couple years, but I know his album. He's a rapper. That's Some just what legends. it is. Most of the legends retired. Me and Khalifa, early, man. Right? Me and Khalifa. Put the jersey up. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what? I'm done. Me and Khalifa is it. Yeah, you know I'm saying? We got we in L.A. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give it to her. She got to suck my dick with glasses on. Bro. She got to keep the glasses on. This <laughs> great. You got to keep the glasses on. I'm just with that. I'm with all of that. You know what I'm saying? Keep the glasses on, and I'm with all of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You can find her anywhere. Just type me and Khalifa in. She's, she's <laughs> lit. The fuck is you talking about? I ain't even got to say it. What? Niggas know her. Oh, I had man. to give it up. CJ, I appreciate you, though, bro. Nah, course, you know what I'm saying? For even thinking about the porno diversion. Because niggas don't be, you know, niggas be, uh, I'm too cool and fuck with porn, nigga. And then they go <laughs> nah, in the bathroom and keep, minute, you know what I'm saying? Because my keep tabs keep is open on deck all day. <laughs> I got the tabs open. I'm keeping it on deck. It's on deck. Huh? It's on deck. It's on deck. It's on deck. It's on deck. Okay. It's on deck for real. It's on deck. So that's, I'm thinking about moving the comic. I ain't going to hold you. Because I feel like I, when I came out here, I just felt something. Mm -hmm. Like, this is for you, my nigga. Mm -hmm. Like, the, nigga the wind said, was blowing. Yo, I swear to God, I had a moment. Yo, him, I, mean, I ain't going to hold the you. The nigga said, yo, where can I find a Pornhub shirt? Like, I need a Pornhub tee for, for Cali because it's like, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Hollywood. It's yeah, like nigga, it's anonymous. Yeah, I, wait, where is that, man? I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to tap in on that, the sex world, because I think I could bring a lot of positivity to the sex world. What positive you could bring? How so? I'd really love yeah, to know. I would really love to know, nah, honestly. Yo, bro, no matter what, the way, the way niggas look at it, having sex with somebody, that's like the deepest shit any two people could do. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck if it's a one-night stand. You always going to remember that. Your genitals is touching another person's genitals. No matter how you look at it, I just hit that, but no matter what you look at, how you look at it, right. sex is powerful. And it's the number one, and it's so taboo. But it's the, it's the way we create. Sex ain't taboo. 
That ain't marijuana. You can't even say sex on TV. You can't do certain things. As, Nigga, they got a show named Sex in the City. It don't matter, but they not. Yeah, but you, you understand you know what, what I'm mean. saying, I mean, bro. I, yeah, you I understand. Know you, you know what you mean. I, 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 I know what you get mean. it. Thank but, you. He but, always do this, bro. Nah, man. He do that. Like, I'm, I'm vibing, and he go nah, over his. I know what he means. <laughs> yeah. like, nah, I got to give him a hug. I know what you mean. Come on and fuck up my moment, bro. I know what you mean. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Fuck you talk about, nigga. All right, nigga. The ball ain't go out of bounds, nigga. We saved it. Twenty four in the shot clock. Keep going, nigga. Fuck you talk about. Twenty four in the shot clock. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like sex is powerful, bro. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? And I just think niggas need to just stop all the bullshit. Men and women need to stop nah, all yeah. the com- 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 like we competing now. Right. Oh, we better. We like. Come on, man. It's, we we companions. And I, I just, I don't know. I look at it. I look at it. Oh shit! That's fuck God it. telling you. Nah, ain't God telling you. That's God telling you. That's God telling you. You need to give me this, nigga. That's what God's saying, nigga. You got a letter. Yeah, like, but yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm man. I'm sorry, bro. No, nah, no, nah, yeah, man. But yeah, that's how I think. I'm yeah, sorry, just, No, don't be sorry. I'm just, I'm just look, man. Keep your head up, man. Pick your head up. Yeah, thank you, man. That's why you, you really my friend. Niggas Dick know that. Man. Pick your head up. I, I did. do you like the meme. You know the meme with a nigga, I guess, the nah, basketball or college shit? Yeah. The nigga was walking with his head oh, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick your head up. My nigga, I'm Keep with you. Up, Keep your head up. I got Keep you. Keep, I got you. you go. Tupac. I'm in Cali, no. right? <laughs> I got you here. Yo, C. My appreciate brother. you. I appreciate you. Always. Bro. That shit was thank lit. You for man. Coming back to my yeah, And yeah, yeah, you definitely. Yeah, de- yeah, and you know, we still we, we still got shit to chop. Yeah. We, you yeah, know, yeah. we gonna keep going yeah, after yeah. this is this over. Was, but this was step one. Yeah, I appreciate you for for coming on the show. And um, I always leave with a gem. Dreams are cheap. Why dream cheap? Mm. Dream big. <laughs> like that. Right? Do dream big. I, lo- I love you for that. What's that shit you say? Curls for the girls, wait for the bass, not for the hood rats. Show Broadway, ho. You know. Really?